I'm just wondering uh, if you've seen anybody like him uh, in your career. Does he remind you of anyone you have come across, Just not just persona, but obviously the wins-losses? Well, you know, now it's uh, this sounds treasonous almost, but uh, he is being favorably compared uh, in Alabama to the late Bear Bryant. And it just doesn't get much higher in terms of the respect for the position and the man who fills it uh, than him. Now, I, interesting, we, uh, uh, we were reminiscing a lot last Saturday during the Iron Bowl about my days down here. And I did sidelines with Keith Jackson and Frank Broyles on the 1981 Iron Bowl game. And uh, uh, that was when Bear was uh, in quest of number 315, which would, when he, when he got there, was going to have him surpass Amos Alonzo Stagg as the winningest coach. So I vividly remember that afternoon 25 years ago with Keith and, and Frank. That's pretty heady company. And I was supposed to do a halftime interview with Coach Bryant. And I waited with him, and I had the police officer there for security for him. And he came out of the tunnel, and I walked up to him and said, Coach, we need to do the halftime interview. And he looked down at me, and he some somewhat contemptuously said, Son, we're about to kick this thing off. And I said, Coach, trust me, they're not going to kick it off until we do, do this interview. <laughs> but I got, I got the look. And uh, he, uh, Nick, in, in ways, reminds me of Bear. And, and uh, I don't think Bear expressed, you know, he was a good old mama's boy from Fordyce, Arkansas. And uh, I don't think he ever expressed contempt. Uh, that's too strong a word. Uh, irritability. Mm. Uh, for the local media like Nick does. And I said, our experience with Nick is so different than, than uh, some of the fellows who have to, you know, do the beat every day. Uh, he's been all – somebody asked me, Rich, a week or so ago, what I could tell them about Nick Saban they probably didn't know. And I said, he can laugh. Hmm. And we've seen that. And uh, that's the side of him. I wish he would allow himself to show more often than he does. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.